Hello there, my name is Plumby, and today I'm going to bring you all another episode of The Sims 4 Honey Brew Legacy. I am finally back with an episode of Honey Brew. I really do apologise that it took almost three months, that is absolutely insane, but I am happy to be here today and I'm happy to be beginning this new chapter in Daisy Honeybrew's life. Currently Daisy is actually having a nap because her and Feather have spent the whole morning and afternoon setting up the apartment as they arrived in Samoshino at 5.30am. Feather over here is just kind of watching Nolan and relaxing. As you guys can tell, this is their apartment. I am really really proud of it. I actually did furnish this apartment and I built the walls so I'm super proud of how it turned out. I know it's not perfect but I really wanted it to reflect Daisy and I actually built it on a live stream like three months ago so thank you to everyone who kind of helped me build that in the live stream. I thought it could be really fun if we had a little tour of the apartment because I really want to show you guys everything in it. So when we first kind of walk inside we have it's like very open plan and that is something that Daisy did really want. I really love it. I really wanted it to reflect Daisy a lot. So there's obviously a lot of pink. So when we first come in here, there's like a place for your Sims shoes and their coats. If we look over here, we have the kitchen, which I really love. I really love this little tree here, which Birch, no, sorry, not Birch, Fisher actually did gift to Daisy. It's actually from Mount Kamarebi and it is so cute. So Daisy does have that there to always remind her of Fisher. We have a little mug rack. It's very clean. It's very minimalistic, I'd say. And that's something that Daisy really does like. If we move over here, we have the laundry basket along with some blankets and pillows. And we also have something for Nolan. I wanted this so we could see how big Nolan is getting. I wanted to add those little touches around the house. And I really love this little area here. I adore the settee I went for. It's so cute and it's so daisy this is pink anything pink just feels like daisy and we have this beautiful mirror here and we have a lovely view actually of the city and all the blossom trees which is so lovely along with the television i love it i love how it feels as i said i really feel like it reflects daisy so i love that and through here we have the bathroom so this is the bathroom and i love it a lot now if we head back out here and we go through here we are leaded into nolan's room and we've got this mirror here so I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the mirror though. I may remove it. Let me know what you guys think about it because it kind of confuses me a little bit. <laughs> but moving on into Nolan's room and also Feather's room because Feather is going to be staying with Daisy for a little while just to help her get settled in and take care of Nolan. So I do have a bed here for Feather along with a picture that Feather did bring of her with Findlay because she misses Findlay so much. Um, I miss him too and we have a plant here and we also have this easel which Feather also did bring because Feather loves to paint. So she kind of paints in here and she's been painting a picture for Nolan and then this is like Nolan's little corner we have his birth certificate we have baby Nolan he is so cute and this is just a really lovely little area we have this little embroidery thing which Feather did do along with this really cute like cat which is also Nolan's yeah this is Nolan's bedroom for now it's very you know laid back and I would say very clear and clean I don't really know what to do for his bedroom whilst he's a baby when he becomes a toddler we'll definitely be updating it now we're into Daisy's room which also has a mirror which is very disorientating I'm very confused <laughs> I may need to get rid of it because it confuses me but um yeah we have that mirror there but this is Daisy's room and here we have her desk I really love Daisy's room I love her desk so much we have a picture here of Willow and Daisy when Daisy was a teenager and also have a picture of hazelnut because daisy misses hazelnut so much <laughs> and we have her laptop here so this is kind of a place where she can do her work for her new job and then here we have this little area here with her clothing items you know very pink very daisy it's very bright in here um i feel like daisy didn't want to put curtains up because she kind of loves having like being able to see the whole city and it's a very beautiful view and we have her bed which looks so comfy and we have of course her journal there along with some candles and this really lovely lamp yeah, that is kind of Daisy's room. It's quite small. This apartment isn't very big. Daisy couldn't afford an apartment which was too big. But this is also good because it's like very manageable for Daisy. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I really love it a lot and I'm so excited to be kind of playing in it. So it is currently 5pm as I did say. Everyone's kind of relaxing now because it's been a very busy day just unpacking. Daisy's actually waking up now so we're probably going to get her to just do some laundry because there is some to be done. So we're going to get her to do that right now. We're going to go ahead and wash the laundry. 
Feather is currently telling Daisy just how proud she is of her for kind of taking this big step and moving to the city, although of course as we know Feather and especially Finley did have a lot of worries about Fe Feather, sorry about Daisy moving to the city especially with Nolan but now it's all worked out really well and Feather's just saying how proud she is of Daisy and how Daisy has really kind of pulled her life together for Nolan and really kind of picked herself back up you know getting her dream job or a job that she really wants she's kind of just saying how proud she is. Daisy still has a lot of worries though she does feel very guilty about Tyson and although Tyson and her did kind of sort things out he said it's okay she's still does feel kind of sad about that and although she does feel so happy to be in the city she actually can't believe she is in the city like it's she's actually here now and she's going to be getting that job she wanted she's kind of in awe about it but she's of course happy about it but at the same time she definitely still has a lot of worries and mainly a lot of guilt because she feels as if she's kind of hurt people to like, get where she is although I feel like you know everything's kind of fine now she still feels very guilty I'm now though probably going to get them to just kind of lounge around and relax as they are all very exhausted Feather is actually currently baking some bread for the neighbors because Feather really wants to befriend the neighbors she is such a social butterfly so she is kind of making some bread for them also I want to quickly mention as Feather's bread is in the oven the calendar one of my favorite things about the sims 4 I love the calendar <laughs> and the seasons in The Sims 4 and I love kind of incorporating this in to the Honey Brew Let's Play so let's quickly take a little look at this as I feel like we haven't checked it out for a while. So of course we did arrive in Samaishino at the beginning of autumn so it is the first day of autumn today and tomorrow is a chill in the wind which is kind of when I get my sims to decorate for autumn maybe put up some decorations for Halloween and all of that fun stuff kind of just kind of get into the autumnal spirits so it's like decorating and cleaning so that's definitely what we're going to be doing tomorrow then on Wednesday we have self-care day which I'm really looking forward to I think I should mention that Feather doesn't actually exactly know when she's going to be returning back to Willow Creek. Of course she isn't going to be staying here permanently like Daisy is so she's but she's still not sure when she's going to leave. My guess is she'll probably be here for at least a week or at least until Harvest Fest. I think until Harvest Fest because that is when Daisy does want to return to Willow Creek to spend Harvest Fest with the family because I've actually planned that Fisher is going to be returning from Mount Kamarebi on holiday for Harvest Fest to be with his family again so that's probably when Feather will return. And I quickly just switch back on aging and on Tuesday it is actually going to be Nolan's birthday which is so odd to me like I can't believe he is going to be becoming a toddler already. Feather has now finished baking the bread it looks really really good. I'm just gonna get her to put it away though in the fridge they do plan to kind of bring it to the neighbors tomorrow they wanted to bring it to them today but they are feeling pretty tired so we're probably just going to be going over there tomorrow. Daisy is spending some time with baby Nolan. He is just so adorable. Daisy will actually be starting work tomorrow and she is currently level two of the politician career. She's currently a campaign intern. The campaign intern is a very important cog to the political machine and thanks to the ability to endorse politics. So get out there, endorse and raise more funding for the cause you support. So I did like level her up to level two as I felt as that that is the job that she did land when applying. Of course we do need to pick a cause. Honestly I feel like Daisy has definitely felt drawn I suppose or she wants to for her cause she wants it to be world united. I feel like that's definitely the one she feels most strongly about so we're going to be picking world united as our cause. It also hit me that we don't actually have a dining table. <laughs> So I will need to figure out how to add that in. Maybe they haven't fully unpacked everything, gotten the furniture built yet. But Daisy's kind of telling Feather currently about the cause and everything. Feather made some chili for dinner, which looks so good. That's the good thing about living with Feather is that she will, she will cook for you. <laughs> you don't have to worry about cooking because Feather loves cooking. But she's kind of, you know asking her about the cause and I think she's like you know it's the one that I you know I feel really strongly towards like you know that I I, I want something to feel strongly about like I want something that I can I, I want to try and make some change in the world and I think that as we know Daisy is a very I'd say headstrong sim if that's the right word to use she can use this to try and kind of cause some good <laughs> in the world so yeah I think this uh, kind of career path right now is a really good one for 
for Daisy. Now though, I am getting everybody to head into bed, so I will be seeing you all when they do wake up tomorrow. Good morning everybody, so Daisy has just woken up and she's currently heading into the bathroom to get ready for the day. She is so eager to go to her job today and to begin her job, she's very much looking forward to it. I'm also getting her to actually go on a morning jog, just to kind of get familiar with the area that she's living in. We will definitely be doing a lot of exploring of the city in today's episode, which I'm really looking forward to because Daisy hasn't really explored it yet as they just spent the whole day yesterday in the apartment. Daisy has now returned home from her jog and she's had a bath and everything and now her and Feather are enjoying some fruit salad. I am so, so excited for Daisy to go to her job. She will be starting in about half an hour. She is looking forward to it. Feather's kind of saying, you know, honey, I really wish you luck. Look at her outfit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna do some edits to it because she has her old hairstyle on and I did give her a makeover so I will do a little some adjustments to it but it looks really good. Now we are left with Feather and Nolan and Feather plans to do some fun autumnal activities today because it is a chill in the wind. Alrighty, so Daisy has now arrived home from her first day at work, which I think went really, really well. She decided to get into some more comfortable clothing and kind of do her hair a little bit because now she does plan on kind of taking the bread to the neighbours. So we are now here and this is one of the neighbours. This is Ryan and he was created by Sims on the Rope. I know I use their Sims a lot. I really need to use some different Sims. I just adore their Sims and I feel like they really suit my Sims if that makes any sense at all and they really fit into my Sims world. But yeah, this is Ryan and this is his fiance Camille who was also created by Sims on the rope. I love these sims. I love Camille. Daisy is kind of introducing herself and saying, you know, I recently like landed a job here in politics. So I've recently moved here from Willow Creek. I've kind of lived there my whole life. And Camille is kind of saying that she does work in <laughs> Daisy's singing. <laughs> and Camille is too. They seem to be really celebrating a chill in the wind. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, uh, Camille kind of says that she works in social media. I feel like these two are definitely going to get along. When I was looking for potential friends, for Daisy. Camille really stood out to me mainly because of her style. I feel like it's very very similar to Daisy's. Daisy is already actually promoting her cause. She's really getting into it now and she's kind of saying you know I really promote the United Sims cause. I believe that's what it's called. It's like I really promote the Sims United cause. I feel like Camille would be quite interested in politics. So I think Camille is probably kind of saying you know oh my gosh yeah I totally stand for that too Daisy. So these two are probably just going to be chatting about that. Daisy's kind of saying about Nolan but like look how quickly they are gaining friendship you guys they've only like just met and they're already really gaining friendship so I definitely feel these guys are going to be really good friends I'm actually now going to go ahead and give a friendly gift we're going to go ahead and gift the bread she's like oh my mom made this it's really tasty so I want to of course give it to you so we're going to go ahead and gift the bread to her let's actually pause though I want to take some screenshots of Daisy's first endeavors in the city for some reason Ryan looks a little bit drunk maybe he's been he's been drinking some wine um <laughs> but there we go she's like here's the bread hopefully Camille likes it Camille likes it okay she's like oh send my regards to or our regards to Feather we really appreciate this bread will definitely be our dinner tonight as nice as this conversation is though Daisy's having a really lovely time talking to Ryan and Camille I am going to get her to head back to her apartment now mainly because it is getting quite late and she is quite sleepy but this apartment was actually built by Lil Simsy I will be leaving a list of all the builds and the creators who made them in the description box down below for Sam Ishino because I did go through Samai Shino and I did add in a ton of lots from the galleries. I'll be having all of that in the description. So if you see a lot which you think looks cute or you want to add into your game, just head to the description and I will have that not that lot named there along with the person who created it. Daisy's now telling Feather how well it went, that they really liked the bread and Feather's like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. She's like, yeah, I'm really excited to kind of get to know Ryan and Camille more. They seem like really great people and we 
three seem to have a lot in common so I can't wait to hang out with them a lot more. Daisy's never really like had like a, a best friend I feel or someone who's like really really close to her. Of course we did have Aurora but that was such a toxic relationship that I don't think I want to kind of consider Aurora as like her close friend or like a you know what I mean like an important friend if that makes any sense. So I think that it'd be really lovely if her and Camille kind of became really close friends and it would be really lovely if they went to like spa trips together. I think that could be really really fun and really beneficial for Daisy to kind of have a close friend like that because of course she has her friends back in Willow Creek um, that she did meet when aging up to young adult but even so like, she isn't necessarily super duper close to them so I think it'd be lovely if she had that one friend who was really important to her. A chill in the wind was definitely a very successful holiday today as we did see Feather did do a lot of cleaning and decorating which is really fun as so we do have the house kind of looking harvest festy and spook festy at the moment which is incredible. Now these two are going to enjoy some dinner then probably head to bed because Daisy does have work again tomorrow. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's part in the comment section down below. Today's part was mainly settling in. In the next episode, we will be definitely exploring more of the city and Samai Shino. We'll be seeing more of Camille and Ryan. I am so excited. I have a storyline planned for Daisy, which I'm excited to kind of play out. I really enjoyed today's episode as I felt it was very cozy. And if you did enjoy, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video.